Hey there, this is Kawa, trying something completely new on this channel here. Uh, I'm going to probably start trying to add voice commentaries onto my videos. If you guys like what you hear, please leave a comment and letting me know that. If you guys don't like hearing my voice, feel free to also leave a comment and I will completely stop doing this ever again. So you guys don't have to hear my voice. So today I'm just here to talk about the basics of a Chaos Water team. Seeing I have been playing this team for well over a year before it was even really a thing. And I feel like I have some advice I can give. So, to start with the general basics, the Chaos Water team is a team built around your main being a move 1 and using Shark Bomb, which has a high crit and injury rate. Oh, can't see that. Oh, whatever. Um, and using her passive, the Neurotoxin, so that whenever you land a critical, it's a Chaos. And the objective of this team is simply you lock them under Chaos at least 90% of the fight, ideally. So, before you even think about making this team, you should know that there's inherent risks that you have when playing this team. Because this team will require that your main stands as your move one. She has to be able to tank hits. She is going to be out on the front line soaking up damage, soaking up CC, and if your main is not up to scale yet, I do not suggest you to try something like this, because you will need to funnel all your gear onto her. Like, for example, looking at mine, she has the best of all my gear. All her runes, magatamas, Refines and Charms are all maxed out compared to everyone else on my team. Well, except maybe my move 2. My move 2, they have some stats so that they can assist in the fight a little bit more. But more or less everything has been given to my main so that she can CC lock my opponents. So the second thing you have to know about this team is you also can't consider this team if your initiative or even your your crit stat is just too low like i don't mean too low as in you know you don't have to have stats like mine where i have 21k here of initiative and 23 22.5 of critical you need to have more than average against the people within your own power level because if you can't go first then you will not be able to lock your opponent down before they can make a move. If your crit is not high enough, you obviously will not crit them and they will not be CC locked. So another thing that I see that a lot of people who are running this team now do that I personally do not like a lot at all because I feel it is very redundant is that they play it with multiple healers sometimes even up to four and the thing is this team it doesn't do high damage at all uh, at my power level fighting someone who is approximately a hundred K weaker than me with my stats I can't even do more than 10 K on a critical most people weaker than me by 100 K probably have about roughly 27 to 30 K HP and that's me at my power level so if you're weaker than me or you're even power with those type of people you probably crit at best two to three k so you're not doing a lot of damage at all and when you run multiple healers your source of damage is completely lacking so you absolutely have to run a secondary form of dps somewhere in the team ideally your move two like for this team for instance it's conan and this team is very versatile. It's a build around your main type of team. You just need to meet the basic requirements that I mentioned before to start the chaos. And your other three units are supports. They are there to back up the water main because the water main is a one girl army. She does not care 
really who you bring as long as they assist her in some form or way. So, for example, in this team, Conan serves a role of a secondary DPS, and she also serves as hard CC when I do a shark bomb. So, and then Itachi here is here to further assist with his CC with his standard with the sleep. Uh, the Sukiyomi is just a bonus, gives you more chakra so that Conan can go off. But secretly, Itachi is a very good weapon against fighting other Chaos Water mains, especially if you have his Rotation of Heaven and Earth booked. Because once he has this, all debuffs that come towards him, he reflects it back. And if you're playing Chaos Water, you have no option but to hit him with your AoE spells, which could potentially reflect the Chaos back to you. And that's something that is very detrimental to you in a Chaos Water main mirror match. So that's really the reason he's here. Also, he has the Amaterasu chase, which assists us with Conan's mystery. And when you play with Chaos Water main, you ideally want some form of high combo chase so that you could trigger either your summon, the King of Hell, or Guy's Turtle, or your, uh, your own personal chase. You don't always have to have both of these, but you need at least one, because sometimes your shark just doesn't crit them all and you need a secondary type of AoE to catch any stragglers who are not CC'd. Very interchangeable, you don't actually have to have both, like I said. You can switch this to any summon that will help your chase, or you can switch your normal chase to any of her four chase skills that will assist you in your chase. Um, usually, if you don't take the Water Trumpet, it is best to take the Chakra Dissection Blade, because this is a guaranteed 100% crit hit. So, it will always chaos when chasing on Neurotoxin. Makes her a little unfair, but hey, use what you got. And here I obviously have a Sakura. She is here to help out with the chase and serve as the second airy healer in this team. Not completely necessary, but it works. Another variation of the team you could probably make is uh, with Kurnai. Kurnai is a very good unit. Um, she serves the role of the mirror dot. I have in this team here with Itachi, and you can also run any like any secondary DPS works. Minato works, Hokage ideally. Um, in some of our previous videos, I showed that you can use even Sasuke. It's not that hard. It's just almost anyone who can do some damage for you to assist in the water main uh, mystery. It helps. Every little bit helps. But four healers definitely does not help the situation because you're not doing any damage. Um, the next other important thing is a trick that, well not really a trick, it's just some advice that you should have is that you should definitely have some way to trigger a high combo chase outside of a mystery. So for example, when Conan does her standard, she does multi-hits and then she'll cause knockdown which, and then she'll do her chase which will be um, a guaranteed high combo. Because you want something like this because at the end of round one, if you, or not even end, like mid round one, if you cause the chase to happen, it will link into water means chases and if you have the king of hell and the water trumpet, you can potentially just chaos them midway through the fight, before even round 2 starts. And an interesting game mechanic is, if a unit has already moved, and then they get hit by chaos, it carries over to the next round. And like that, you already won half the battle, because if they get chaos midway through round 1, and they already moved, then at the beginning of round 2, they are still under chaos. And a chaos opponent can't fight back, so that is um, a very good advantage that you can gain. So I usually showcase a lot of different chaos water teams, and I'm just trying to explain it better now that I got a mic now. Um, 
yeah, so let me know if you guys like some more videos like this where I can explain the team further after I'm done using it. Um, I have a Sage World Battlefield video that will be uploaded where I use this exact team and I fight against people. Not all of them are stronger than me. Well, majority of them are not stronger than me. But there are some strong people that I do run into and you can see what I mean about the damage and the interactions and why you want to be able to have a high combo chase located in a standard or a chase somewhere so that you can trigger the water main midway through a round if you don't trigger it with her mystery. And that's it for this time. Let me know your opinions and if I should continue doing this. Alright, bye!